Hey you guys, it's Michelle and Millie here. Thanks for joining us today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna do a craft room tour and show you around and show you how I organize everything. So if you wanna check it out, stay tuned. start out by just showing you around the room so you get a general idea of where everything is and then we'll come back and go over each individual section. sweet friend Melissa got me says building my empire please do not disturb then on this wall as soon as you walk in is my washi wall that holds the majority of my washi not all of it but the ones I use the most and then they're kind of organized by by type or color I've got metallics pink going into blue green so on and so forth with like multicolor on the bottom and a lot of people ask where I got this. My husband actually made this for me. He just went to the hardware store and got the these uh, side pieces. And then these, these are little dowel rods. There are two that hold each shelf. And then, you know, made it and painted it white. And I love it. I love being able to see my washi at a glance. Then right underneath that, I have my Hudson cart that I got from Michaels. And I'll be sure to link everything that I can find in the description. But this, this holds all of my Happy Planner sticker books, uh, as well as some others on the bottom. But on the first row, I've got the Happy Planner books that I use the most, and they're sort of organized by, these are older ones that are alphabetized. Then these are all floral sticker books. These are like semi-new sticker books and extremely new sticker books on the far right. And I got these bins at Target in the, the front, like the bullseye playground section. Years ago, they're just clear plastic frosted bins and they're the perfect size for the Happy Planner sticker books. They don't have them anymore. However, I did find these and they have different sizes, these clear plastic bins on the bottom at Home Goods that are on the bottom and they're wider. So they hold the small shop sticker books like Live Love Posh and Kill of a Plan and Mojo Jojo Plans and all of that. And they do have these in different sizes. So I would check Home Goods if you're looking for some of these. Up here on the second shelf, I've got just a lot more Happy Planner sticker books that are older, but that I still wanna keep. Then in this far right bin, I've got all of my DIY sticker books, like the little script words, the quotes, the black and white icons, alphabets, bullet points, all that. Then on the bottom is where I have some of my small shop sticker books. I've got the, the Boho Dreams there on the front, but I also have some Mojo Jojo plans, um, Whimsy Lux, and then some Kell of a Plan, and these are just more happy, older Happy Planner sticker books. So that's where I keep all of my Happy Planner sticker books. Then I have a closet, and I'll show you what is in there at the very end of the video. And to the right of the closet, I've got a little gallery of canvases that my daughter painted for me, and I love having these in here. They're so special to me. Then here is my light box, which folds up and I just keep it right here. I use that for taking photos and next to it, I've got lots of different color backgrounds, poster boards, foam boards, also for taking photos. And I've got another little storage unit here for stickers. And I believe I got this one at TJ Maxx, but it's got uh, three little shelves. And on the first shelf, I have all of my current Live Love Posh sticker books. Then on the second shelf, I've got Plan Anything. And on the third shelf, I have some current Kelova plan as well as Wrong Wrong sticker books right here next to my desk. And my desk sits right here in front of this large window. And I got it at Ikea. These are actually this and the other unit on the other side 
are a set of Alex drawers that has five drawers, and I'll be sure and link it in the description. And this is a desktop or tabletop that is purchased separately, and it just rests on the top of those. And then my desk chair I found on Amazon. It's a white desk chair. It's super comfy, and I like the size of it. It's not super big, and it, it doesn't have a really tall back. I just like the way it fits in here. It's a perfect size. Then, of course, I have my desktop cleaned up nice for you guys. Normally, there is a ring light that sits on top of it when I'm filming, but I'm actually using that now to make this video. So I've got, I usually keep my two main planners that I use the most, my classic and my dashboard planner here. And these are some other planners, notebooks, and journals that I use in these little A to Z bookends that I found at Target. The two desk lamps are from Target also. I got those a couple of years ago, and then I've got some little faux plants. Then this little wiener dog, I guess it's probably like a ring tray or jewelry tray, but I put paper clips in it or an eraser or whatever I'm needing at the time, and it usually just sits right here. Then I got this cutie on Amazon. It's just a little cat figurine, and I usually have it sitting on that lamp on the right, but it holds on to my AirPods when I'm not using them. It's got a little magnetized area. So it kind of just keeps track of them. It doesn't charge them or anything, but I just love it. It makes me smile. Then over here, I have a caddy that holds some of my mod liners, the regular, and then the brush tip in the little second section, as well as some little mini filler paper. And just a little acrylic pen holder that's got three dividers that has the pens I use the most and scissors, tweezers, things like that. And I've got some faux plants there in the middle. This one is a real plant. And I've got this also this little to two-tiered caddy that I keep things I use a lot just pens white out tape runner washi tape sticky notes lip balm things like that and then next I want to show you what I keep inside of all of these desk drawers I'm going to start with this unit over here so in this first drawer this is where I keep just all different shapes of sticker paper scraps just white sticker paper the paper kind and then this is the clear sticker paper i use these all the time to cover up things in my planner just for all sorts of things even if i'm uh, printing and cutting something on my cricut i'll find one like a smaller one and tape it to a piece of paper in the in the corner so i just like to have these right here in the top drawer then i've got a really cute little ladybug desktop vacuum cleaner to just pick up scraps that my daughter got me then in the next drawer, I've got all different shapes of hole punches, smaller punches, my hexagon punch, a corner rounder, and my paper trimmer, as well as in the back, I've got some larger punches. I don't use these as often since I've learned how to use my Cricut and everything, but I like to have them in case I need them. Then this drawer is a little bit messier. I do have a lot of just Happy Mail cards and things from friends and planner babes. This is my DIY address book that I made. Then I have, in this little bin, I have tons of little die cut stickers, patches, things that came in Be Happy boxes and all kinds of things like that. Then in this little tin, I think I have some die cuts from also from Michaels or Hobby Lobby or something, just die cut stickers. And then this is all mostly single sheets from sticker shops. I even have like the ones that I use a lot. I've got a little makeshift folder for Planet Darby, Anna Bean, Designer Chameleon and so on and so forth. And then lots of single sheet Happy Planner stickers as well. Then I have back here lots of these type things and then fronts and backs of sticker books because that's how I make my DIY sticker books. I do have one of these that's full of just blank sticker paper in case I want to use that for anything. Then in this drawer, I've got a big Happy Planner cover on discs. This is just where I keep a lot of random stickers that I made on the Cricut that I didn't use or used part of. This is a little wax paper template for pre-planning, but just all kinds of different stickers. I tried to keep them categorized, but I just know when I need some random stickers or if I remember I made it on the Cricut that they're going to be in here. Then underneath that, I've got all of my 
large maybe stick stickers just kind of clipped together by style there's the alphabet and so on and so forth and my happy planner punch then in this caddy in the back well that's just some live love posh random boxes i pulled out of books i've just got a few older sticker books that i don't use that often that i store back there Then in this bottom drawer, I've got some um, cards and card making supplies. I've got my Wrong Wrong Wanderlust postcard book in there. And some tiny envelopes here. And these are just like little gift cards and gift tags. Then here I've got some little Erin Condren kindness cards that I could include in a card. So now let's look at the other side. On the right side here, the first drawer, I have just different kinds of pens. I've got some brush pens here, the color dot, some random pens, uh, my Apple Pencil, Paper Mate flares, and then some Lip Pen Flex, and that's where I've got my undo in there as well. Then in the second drawer is mostly for notepads and sticky notes. So I have just some different size notepads here, some wrong, wrong sticky notes and different kinds of like planner type notepads. Got some sticky notes from the Happy Planner there. Then just some little ones that I've taken apart where I can just reach in there and grab one. These are mostly like the square kind and then the little lemon. Then I've got just some paper clips, these little wiener dogs. My friend Farah, she's a sweet friend and patron, sent me those. And just more little notepads and tiny journals. And then in here, these are just paper clips, like those are all the lemon ones from Live Love Posh. Just, just some specialty paper clips that I can grab and go for props or to use just to hold papers together. Then in this third drawer, I've got my stencils and some like bookmarks and rulers then different packs of pens here in this divider and then larger packs of pens there and my mouse for my laptop and some click art pens planner bands then in this one i have paper clips these are just like all the same like with like and then just random like novelty paper clips some really cute little novelty gold ones then i've got scissors and a craft knife some refills for my fiskers detail knife then in here i think i have more just plain paper clips in different colors then some different tapes glue glue sticks then in the very bottom, I have a lot of these like little journaling cards from different brands in different sizes. There's Millie. These from the Happy Planner. There's some small ones. Little tiny baggies to keep different things in. Like when I make something like these things, I've got some hearts there, some bats and some clovers just to use as props for photos. Seasonal stuff. And then I've got my binder clips here the smaller ones and the larger ones that I use to hold my sticker books together and to make the DIY sticker books. Then just some random things in these little tins, more paper clips, back there some flare pens. And that is everything in my desk. Then over to the right, I've got my bookshelf that is organized in rainbow order. Then moving on around, that is my dad's guitar that I keep on a stand there. I don't know how to play it. I hope to one day learn. And then I've got my cube unit here that I keep tons of planners and things in. I'll show you the decor at the top first. That gold hello, I got that at Michael's. And then all the other artwork, I believe, came from Hobby Lobby. That little Monstera leaf, I spray painted gold. It was pink, I think. And just a hat. Then on the top of the unit, I have some photos of the kids and me, then my little letter board, a stack of pretty books and some crystals, a salt lamp, some candles, and some other little faux plants, and a little mister for my real plants. 
So starting with this shelf, these are all of my big happy planners. I've got a memory keeping planner. This is an old planner that I'm not using anymore, but it is still current. And a lot of these just house paper, like filler paper. Some are new planners that I pull pages out of for patron spreads, but those are all the big happy planners. And then moving along to the next section, I got this and I have another one at the bottom. I got it at Michael's and it's just a wooden bin that's been painted white and it's got chalkboard on the front, the back, and the sides. So I just keep some paper pads. I have happy notes here. There's lots of these kind of happy notes and some just like little paper pads for planning thing. Just lots of different paper. Then in this section, I've got classic planners. These are my past few years of planners. Some are journaling planners and several are blank planners for patron spreads. Then down on the second shelf, I just have a few pretty books, some of my favorite books and these adorable little cat bookends that my son got me. I think he got me those for my birthday or Christmas one year. Then these are memory keeping planners that are complete. I have them in these big deluxe covers, one for each year. And I got a really good price on these on a sale at, um, from the Happy Planner. Then the next cube are these little colorful, like three ring binders that I keep older sticker sheets in, like from Hobby Lobby and just different things. Then down in this section, these are all my classic deluxe covers. This one is from Planny Thing and it's got my Go Wild Planner in it. Some of these don't have anything, but some of them have some happy notes in them, just blank happy notes. And then this middle one, that's the other little bin from Michaels, and I have just tons of paper pads in there. Some of them aren't even opened yet. Uh, just holding onto those for when I need them. Then down here, I've got three more of the big deluxe covers that have memory keeping planners in them that are completed. And in these two little decorative boxes, I've just got little photos. Then right on the next wall, I've got just a little stand that holds my printer. And down there at the bottom, some file folders that hold different kinds of like clear sticker paper, cardstock, photo paper, things like that. Then in these two little bins, I've got just extra printer paper and printer ink. And this desk on the other side of the room, this one holds my desktop computer and my Cricut. And my mom found this at a thrift store or an estate sale or something, and my husband painted it, painted it white and then distressed it to kind of look antique -y. And then I have a plant on a plant stand over here. Then the little collage that's above that, I think all of that came from Hobby Lobby too, except that little gold envelope on the right that has the like faux, faux palm leaves in it, tropical leaves that I made out of cardstock and another little hat. Then to the right of that is a bathroom and that brings us back to where we started. There's my little door hanger. So let's go ahead and look in the closet. All right, this is inside the closet. I've got two of those nine cube storage units stacked. Let's see if I can show you. And it's just for storage and mostly storage of props and other journals that I'm not using right now. So on the first row there, I just have tons of little pen pouches and makeup bags and all kinds of little pouches that I use for props and also when I travel to put pens in. Then in that next, in that bin, I've got some props in there. Those are stored seasonally, like I think one has fall and there's another one down here that has Christmas in it. But back up here, I've got some of my Archer and Olive journals and little Planty Thing sticker holders. The second row, that's just a little cute little mini tea cart thing I got at Target in the Bullseye Playground. I put some of my favorite washi there and a teacup that my sweet friend Shannon got me from Archer and Olive. Then the next in the middle there, those pen cases have all my decorative pens in them. And then that clear one has lots more mild liners. Then moving across, I've got a couple of books that my sweet friend Wanda sent me for junk journaling. I've got a lot of my junk journaling supplies in here also. To the left and the right of the closet, it's kind of hard to see in there, but I have more paper pads and like my, the wide washi rolls that have the stickers on it and lots more junk journaling supplies. But as you can see, I have more pens in there and I've got down here in this clear caddy, those are card making supplies that I use for patron cards. And then there's that second 
bin that has props in it. Then all kinds of scissors and other leaves and things that I use for props. All kinds of little trays. Then down here I've got little trays on the left in all different shapes and sizes and more little faux plants and planters. Some little figurines and all kinds of stuff in there. Then some hand, hand lettering books there on the right. More of my junk journaling supplies. And in the very bottom, I've got, let's see, second from the bottom, those are mini happy notes. Then more storage, more props. Then the skinny happy notes and more props in those boxes and more planner covers and happy notes and planners that I'm not using. But I do love having those stacked units and my husband braced them together somehow because they did lean at first but uh, I love having those in there just to keep everything organized in this closet. But that is the closet. Alrighty, I think that's everything. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I showed you around my craft room. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye!